It started with a 911 call, a neighbor reporting a suspicious man. When our officers showed up, uh, a neighbor ended up coming up and fly down the officer saying, help me, my uh, father suffers from dementia and he's missing. Captain Jesse Hong says Sugarland police quickly put two and two together, that the suspicious man was the missing elderly man with dementia. Officers immediately launched their drone, thermal technology spotting the man in a backyard near a pool. Everything around him is gray, but his body heat detected in black. How long did it take for them to find the man? Once the drone was up in the air, the officers were able to really quickly search the area, and I would say about 10 minutes or so, they were able to locate this missing gentleman. Once officers got the man's coordinates, they brought him to safety. So basically right here, as we're looking at us, anything that is white is hot. The thermal imaging has become a crucial tool for missing persons cases, crashes, and catching bad guys. If we have a suspect run from us and he was in a car, uh, bails out of the car, um, we can, if he parked in a parking lot, typically we can see which car was recently running, uh, like you saw with the uh, uh, thermal. We're going to put this drone to the test. This is Alicia Alanis. She's a public information officer for the Sugar Land Police Department. She's going to go missing and we're going to see how long it takes to find her using this thermal technology. Are you ready? I'm ready. All right. Let's do it. Once Alanis vanished, Sergeant Andrew Nowak launched the drone. We've been given kind of a rough area of where they might be. So we're going to go over to that area now and uh, just start searching around and do a systematic searching Tree coverage made it a challenge, but within seven minutes, Alanis was found. The drone's speedy response times bringing relief to many. It's not just a big relief for the family members. It is for us, too, because the officers who are down there, they, they really put a lot of their heart and work into trying to find and help the community. In Sugarland, Corley Peel, KPRC 2 News.